Here we'll show what happens when we digest food. As food enters the mouth, the teeth grind it down during chewing. This is called mastication. Salivary glands release saliva that moistens the food and helps to break down sugars. The tongue positions the food so it can be swallowed. The food moves through the throat and into the esophagus. Food moves down the esophagus by peristalsis. These are wave-like contractions of the muscles in the digestive pathway that push the food along. Next, the food enters the stomach, where it's showered in gastric juices and proteins are digested. The food then passes through into the small intestine. Here the food is showered with bile that digests fats and pancreatic juices that contain enzymes to digest carbohydrates, fats and proteins. The walls of the small intestine also release enzymes. The small intestine is over 5 meters long and the food moves along by peristalsis, as in the esophagus. After the food leaves the small intestine, almost all the nutrients have been absorbed. Next, the food moves into the large intestine. The main role of the large intestine is to absorb water, nutrients and salts and convert waste products into a more solid form that can be excreted from the body as feces. The colon ends in the rectum and anal canal. By this time, water has been absorbed and the feces are ready to be expelled from the body through the anus.